This one is called The Trouble with Frank Sinatra. <laughs> the first time I heard Moon River, I was lying in your bathtub. You had run it so that it was way too hot for me. The water steamy, the mirror steamed up, my flushed face emerging from the foam. I could hear you whistling on the terrace, your face in the smoke, pushing sizzling pieces of meat around on a small barbecue, telling me to hurry up, that I was going to ruin dinner. But I couldn't hear you, I was too absorbed in the voice, the heartbroken ballad making its way back to me, the memory of Audrey Hepburn strumming on her windowsill, slipping its way back to me, my knees sticking out of the water. That morning, you had come to my house looking sad and dejected, your eyes in a panic. You held my hand and asked me to promise that I wouldn't run away if you told me something. I refused to promise, and you sat at the edge of the bed, fidgeting, stared at hands that had pulled away, and told me you were married. I held the curtains for a long time, looking across at the neighbors, not registering the words properly, slow blood running through me, avoiding your pale eyes, ser searching for a sign of recognition. I heard you say that you were unhappy, that you had not planned this, that something in you snapped when I walked by you unknowingly, that you needed time to think about what life would be without me. I held the curtains, lost in a maze, catching my inaudible breath, knowing there was nothing I could do because the damage was done. Now Frank Sinatra's blue voice was slipping through the cracks, permeating the room with a joy and ease that caught me off guard, bringing images of New Jersey shores and the streets of Hoboken. I lay still in the water, picturing the darkened bars and seedy clubs where a scrawny young man had started to distill his voodoo charm with a raspy voice that rang clear and effused a tired heart with fire. As the steam evaporated and the water grew cold, the rest of my body appeared underneath the bubbles. My legs crossed like an Indian girl, which is how you call me the rest of the, of the summer, your Indian girl. The song fizzled out, the words floated above the white tiles like vapor. I learned later that Sinatra might have been involved with Miami mobsters. Rumor, rumor went that he was close to members of organized crime and gangsters, the short-tempered egotist who had a reputation for tantrums and kickbacks. The trouble with Frank Sinatra is that I heard the voice first. <laughs>